down tube batteries like you see here have become very popular for aftermarket conversion kits for a lot of good reasons. They keep the center of gravity low on the bike, they install pretty easily, they look pretty clean. But one feature that many of these down tube batteries have that isn't well known is that the base plate or cradle that the battery fits in when it's on the bike has a mounting point internally for a built-in motor controller. Now usually that controller is not populated and the battery has just a pair of plus and minus wires coming out of it and those are then plugged into an external motor controller. Now the advantage of having the controller inside the battery cradle is that it eliminates the wiring between the battery pack and the motor controller and it removes the controller from being a separate thing you have to install on your bicycle. So the result is a much cleaner looking installation with no motor controller visible and a reduction in the amount of wiring going across the bike frame. Unfortunately, up until now, most of the controllers that have been available to mount inside these battery cradles have been pretty uninspiring. They have all the same downsides as the generic controllers that I discussed previously, with very limited configurability or programming options, and not usually working with a wide range of battery voltages or motor types. So our next big collaboration endeavor with ASI was to adapt their sophisticated field-oriented controller board series, but arrange it geometrically to fit in the much more confined spaces of these down tube battery packs. And we pulled this off with what we call the base runner. So the base runner has all the features that you've come to love about the phase runner motor controller. That's a high degree of configurability and programmability, customizable voltage and current limits to suit the battery pack and the motor that you're running, the ability to run sensored or sensorless, the ability to do field weakening in order to boost the top speed of a motor beyond what you would normally get for a given battery voltage, incredibly smooth regenerative braking, and incredibly smooth control with the field-oriented control scheme. The standard version of our base runner motor controller is limited to 55 amps of peak phase current and it uses the popular 9-pin round waterproof high motor plug. Now this plug standard is ubiquitous across a wide range of geared hub motors from Bafang and many other suppliers and it's been well standardized in the e-bike industry for kits in the 250 to 500 watt power range. So even though this controller is capable of less current than the phase runner, it's still more than enough for the types of motors that it's paired with. We do, however, have an even more powerful version and that's the base runner L10. So this base runner has a heavier gauge phase wire coming out of it and is terminated with the large L10 connector that we at Grin are standardizing with all of our mid to high power conversion kits. So this is a 10 pin plug that includes, in addition to the three phase and half five hall wires, a speedometer sensor and a temperature sensor to come through the motor in a single connector type. Now this version of the base runner is going to be using higher power MOSFETs and it should be capable of 70 to 75 amps of peak phase current rather than the 55 amps of the other model and hopefully upwards of 45 to 50 amps continuous. So one thing that makes our base runner motor controller quite unique is that unlike the generic controllers where they're using the cradle as the heat sink screwing the MOSFETs directly to it, our base runner works as a standalone module too. So if down the road your battery wears out and you no longer want to have a down tube battery on your system, you can actually remove the base runner from the heat sink of your battery cradle and then have it exist as a separate standalone motor controller. So here I've just taken it out of the heat sink. Normally that would of course have been screwed in. And then I could install this elsewhere on the bike and completely divorce myself from all the components that were associated with that down tube battery. That's simply not possible when the motor controller is actually integrated and using the base plate as its own heat sink. So now we're gonna talk a little bit about installation. So if you purchase the base runner from Grin at the same time as you get a down tube battery, then naturally we'll mount the controller inside your battery cradle, everything will be plug and play and there's no installation involved. But if you already have a down tube battery and you're looking to upgrade it to include a base runner, then there's a few details that you need to know about. So the first is the battery style. So in front of me here I have three different down tube batteries, often called shark batteries in online parlance. Um, the two on the right here are from a company called Halong, and the base runners we've been producing so far are using the aluminum plate from a Halong enclosure, um, but we machine out the inside in order to provide the necessary room for our base runner motor controller. So our standard base runner is a direct swap for Halong down tube batteries. That includes the smaller Halong 01 pack, uh, the larger Halong 03 packs, and it also includes the new 21700 cell format battery packs. Um, so all three of these use the same aluminum plate that's the standard that we offer. 
There's also a popular down to battery series from a company called Reentchen, and that's what I'm holding in my hand here. Now, not all the Reentchen batteries actually have this controller mount in the bottom. Some of them have the entire space to fill with cells so they can get a few more cells inside there. So if you do want a base owner upgrade, make sure that you see this aluminum plate in the back. Now, the Reentchen batteries have a different casting for the controller, and we do have an option for these Reentchen batteries, but it's not the standard base runner that's currently on our website. So that's the beauty of the base runner. It allows a super clean e-bike installation with all the versatility and advanced features you've come to expect from Grin, but with a much reduced wiring clutter and a motor controller that's totally tucked from gear.